Hey guys, what's going on? It's Javon Bluff from Chill Tech. And I know it's been a while since I came up with a good video, but we're here, we're back, we're live, and let's go ahead and get this thing started with some good old fashioned treats. I'm talking about Marshmallow. This is a 2015 review of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So I'm going to break down some of the features of Marshmallow as well as give you some impressions and some things you probably did not know that Marshmallow could do. Now of course I'm going to go over general experiences over different devices that actually run Marshmallow. All the devices will be Nexus because there's only two devices that run Marshmallow supposedly that are Nexus devices and that's the LG G4 in some other country and the ACC A9 which we don't have our hands on. If you're watching this ACC, give us the phone. All right, so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these phones and look at some of these features that Marshmallow can bring. These are really Marshmallow devices. This is the about phone here. You guys can go ahead and check. This is a Nexus 5 that's running Marshmallow. More on that device later. This is the Nexus 6, not the Nexus 6P, but this is the 6 running Marshmallow. As you can see here, we'll get more on that later. And currently we also have a Nexus 9 running Marshmallow. And you can see that there. So of course, one of the first things you notice with Marshmallow is that it looks very much similar to Lollipop. And that's a good thing. And the material design is really, really polished in Marshmallow. Instead of Google trying to revamp the design and make things look different, they decided to tune up the operating system, add some nice polish to it, and give us some really fun features so that way you can really enjoy the operating system, hopefully make it bug free. Of course, we have things like the vertical scrolling menu. This is kind of a Google Now feature. You can use this on non-Marshmallow phones, but it comes pre-installed with, with Marshmallow devices that are and they're Nexus devices, so you get that there. The Marshmallow specific feature is something like here, where now, instead of having just one pull down from the center, you can now pull down on a tablet from kind of pretty much anywhere on the screen. Really nice, that wasn't present in Lollipop, so that's here. Um, not sure really what the functionality of that, besides just having convenience, we're pulling anywhere you want, but you know, hey. Another new feature in Lollipop is the lock screen. Swipe here. Oh, and you can now bring you directly into Google Now, which is pretty fun. You still have the same, ca um, you know, camera shortcut, which I get, you know, which is nice for non Nexus 6P and the 6 and 5X devices that can now double tap the power button for that camera. So that's there, and that's pretty awesome. The pull down tray is pretty much the same, um, a little bit more polished in terms of animations and color. Also, some icons have been cleaned up a little bit more. But one of the cool features here is that right here on this gear, if you hold it down, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me go ahead and. If I can press that to the point where you guys can see it. You hold that down and again you get congratulations the system tuner UI has been set. System tuner UI is a new feature inside of Marshmallow. It allows you to change things inside of the status bar, quick settings, demo modes, and show better battery percentages um, right from the lock screen itself. You can do that and get the battery percentage up there and toggle that off or on depending how you want to do that. That's a nifty feature in Marshmallow that Lollipop didn't have. Of course, Marshmallow now also supports fingerprint reading, where you can tap the back of the phone that have supported fingerprint scanner, so uh, you can now tap it and natively open and lock the phone. So if I just put my finger on here, it unlocks the phone right away. The new Marshmallow fingerprint APKs also work for getting purchases as well. As you can see here, you can touch the center to pay for an application inside of the App Store, as well as you can also lock application and use your fingerprint as a password to get in. The new fingerprint API inside Marshmallow is really good and it's definitely going to get better with more features going forward. Not all changes of Marshmallow has been aesthetically. A lot of them are underneath the hood, like those and app optimization. These are two features in the, that allow the battery life to drastically increase on any device. Now you're not gonna see two, three hours of extra screen time at the end of the day, but you will see your battery lasting throughout the day more efficiently. Marshmallow now also gives you the support that you need for an active stylus, meaning you can pick up any active stylus and it'll work fine on your device. Right here, will work just fine whether I'm gonna, uh, I wanna sign something or I wanna draw. It's really accurate and it allows you to really have full control over your device for people that need that extra bit of productivity on the next device. That means the Nexus 6, 5, 7, and 9, and the new 5X and 6P can support this technology. This is a really cool feature that are not many people talking about. I love this feature, and if you are someone that's artistic or they like to write a lot of notes, 
mixed in with the Google handwriting feature, you definitely want to make sure you get Marshmallow device. If not, get a Samsung. <laughs> Google has finally now, have now implemented OTG support for all Nexus devices as well as a built-in file manager into the system. So now you go to USB and storage and then you can now go to the bottom where it's Explorer and have a full file manager system the entire device. This also now leads to support for OTG, which means you can plug in an OTG flash drive or cable and have access to all of your data and information right from the device. You can watch movies right here, right from my phone without having to add any additional storage to my device. And also a quick little reminder, this also works with the Nexus player. That to mean if you have a Nexus player, this brings more, and I mean severely more value to that device. You can now plug an OTG cable and plug this in and get all your movies directly to your Nexus player. That is so cool, and I actually might do an update review on the Nexus player just to show you guys how cool that is. That's the video for another day. Google also made the codex and the equalizer much better when it comes to audio quality and Marshmallow devices. So all the Marshmallow devices that are currently in the Nexus line will now give you better audio from the auxiliary port and externally from a Bluetooth speaker because of the better codex and equalizer built in. Now the way that the permissions work on different applications will look different, but now there's a mandatory application system inside of Marshmallow that makes apps ask you permission first before they start getting things like location or file manager or media or any type of camera or anything that you want that you don't want the device to use. If they want to have permission for it, they gotta ask for it and they can just go ahead and grab it. That's really cool. All right guys, this has been the 2015 review of Marshmallow. There are some other features and things that I'm missing out and there's a lot of different changes when it comes to native apps like Calendar and, and Dialer and all that other stuff. And these things are just much more polished. The operating system in general was much more polished. This is the best version of Android we've ever seen and it's the most smoothest and relatively bug free version of Android that I've ever seen. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, let me know if you have Marshmallow and if you just thought of what device you have it on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep it chill. Peace. So, you already watched the video. Now this is the after credit. Now, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek because we have a lot of things that I don't feel like doing an update video on. I'm going to tell you guys right now. We have the Nexus P 6P, the 5X, Chromecast, we have the iPhone 6S. We're getting, we're trying to get our hands on the new um, Windows phones. It's just, it's really hard to do all this stuff. We have so much videos to give you guys that we promise we'll get out before the end of next month. So just keep in mind, stay subscribed if you're ready to subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe to see this content. We have a lot of content to give you guys. Um, prior, we, uh, we also have the Moto X um, Pure Review that we have that we that we just finished up and we'll be posting up soon. So catch on to that. Like I said, guys, we want to get this Marshmallow review out the way first, and then we're gonna flood you guys with tons of reviews and videos. Also, we're gonna have some collaboration videos in between that as well with some of the world to, uh, YouTubers like the Shop and also Lord Window Liquor, things like that. So, stay subscribed, we'll see you guys soon, and yeah, <laughs> please.